we've created something that allows us to look into the future. understanding is that uh, there's more carbon dioxide being emitted. Rising CO2 levels, you got me there. Started from the in industrial uh, revolution. And it's a big issue and we're not addressing it. I don't know whether it's a hoax or it's true or whatever, but from the news and the media, we know that the CO2 levels in the atmosphere are rising. Some governments say that it's a real issue, other governments say that it doesn't exist. We need to have a good understanding of what we can do to keep this planet going for future generations. Unless you have physical proof to show that it will happen, then well, obviously no one will believe you. This experiment exists because carbon dioxide has been increasing in the atmosphere and it's been increasing a lot. Uke Face is the eucalyptus free air CO2 enrichment experiment and it's an experiment in which we're exposing an area of native bushland here in Western Sydney to the CO2 concentrations that we expect in the future around the year 2050. When carbon dioxide accumulates in the atmosphere it's a bit like a blanket in the sense that it prevents heat from going back out to the atmosphere and it's trapped instead in that layer. Yeah, I mean, I think many people are interested in this from a climate um, change point of view, and I think that it's definitely needed to educate the public on what the plants are doing to kind of slow down the pace of climate change. We started building the experiment in 2010. We built it and designed it with as little impact on this native bush as we could. Snakes and lizards and creepy crawlies also can get in and out of these plots because they're part of the native ecology of this type of bushland. Each ring structure has 32 vertical vent pipes and they've got holes all the way up along them. Liquid CO2 is converted into a gas by vaporizers. And then it travels through a pipe all the way to each of the individual plots. There are more than 200 sensors in each of the rings, which are constantly gathering the data, temperature, humidity, soil temperatures, you name it and we measure it. We have over 100 people that work here. 10 different nations are represented amongst the uh, people that come here and do research. Uh, we have insect specialists, soil scientists, plant physiologists, entomologists who come and do their research. I am interested in how the plants take up carbon dioxide for photosynthesis and so with this machine I clamp it on a leaf and then it will tell me how fast it's taking up CO2. So we have seen in the past that um, when you give plants more carbon dioxide they start to photosynthesis more. When we started the experiment I was hoping that this vegetation would store more carbon from the atmosphere in these future conditions but at the end of the day we have some very different results here. The trees aren't growing as much as we expected at all and that was really a surprise for us. So we have to plant way more trees than we previously thought. Western Sydney University wanted to focus on research and that's made a lot of what we do here possible. Even if you don't know that this research is happening it could have an effect on your life in the future and your, your children's children's lives you know. We need to have the research done for, for future generations. It must be crucial, mustn't it? I mean, it, people can go around giving their opinions as what's going to happen, but it has to be backed up with hard research, surely. We're staying engaged with our local population in Western Sydney. We stay engaged by talking with policymakers about what we find in this experiment. And we really stay engaged at a whole variety of levels. And that's characteristic of research that goes on at Western Sydney, in my mind. I think we should be proud of an experiment like this in our own backyard because a lot of people would recognize this is a world-class research. The Australian Research Council has recognized what we do in plant science, what we do in soil science, what we do in ecology as world-class. 
you can dream big, you can think big. And if we do it here in Australia, I'm pretty sure we can encourage other countries to do it as well. Thank you.